Well, guys, I already am struggling to stay away from this game at the moment. It's actually Christmas Eve here. And I'm still playing it uh, just because I'm enjoying it so much. I've been doing a few things off camera. So right here, we've got a load of rye planted across this field because it is awesome. I want to make the most of that. And it's just coming towards being nighttime. We are dirty, so I need to wash. And I'm going to do that in a second. But just to explain a couple of things I'm going to do here, we have 600 of the wheat. So let's grab that. And what we're going to do with the wheat, if we come over here to the kern, uh, we see right here that we can buy the uh, the wheat grain there for 50 coins. Uh, that's the resource to turn that into flour. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Then all we need to do is thresh the wheat over here and then craft it into flour. And that should be a ton of flour and hopefully a ton of money. So I'm going to do that through the night. We just entered a new season. As you can see, it's winter here. I've got all of my uh, warm clothing on. And hopefully that's going to be enough to get us through. We'll just see how we go with that because I've just put it on. But as always, new season, I want to check on a few things. I always like to look at the pigs first, but uh, we're a bit late into the day here. I've been doing some crafting. So yeah, I might just have to do it like the uh, on the management screen. I was just wondering whether we'd actually had any any baby pigs yet, but it uh, doesn't look like it from first glance. So open this up here, go to management, animals. Yep, yeah, no, it's still just the two pigs, still just two geese as well. So yeah, they're not playing ball with us. I guess it just takes a little bit of time. Obviously, our baby's not going to have grown up yet either. Um, you can see here we did get this farm all planted, so that's pretty good. Uh, if we go to our management of fields, actually, uh, I'll just show you. So this one here is, is all growing right now. But then field two, we've got a bit of fertilizing done on that on there too, if we want to get something in there. As it's winter, the only thing we could plant would be carrots. I'm not overly bothered about it. But what I might do is just use all the animal manure and stuff like that and try and get everything sorted here for the new season. Uh, now, I believe that we have damage to our excavation hut, which is one of these buildings over here, I think. And so we're going to need to repair that, I think. Is this the excavator's hut in here? Uh, this is the herbalist. Let me just go find that real quick. Yeah, okay, so it's going to be this little hut here, isn't it? I think this is the one. So, yeah, this one is damaged. So if we get our hammer right there, right-click it, go on to the repair. Oh, here we go. Here's the main problem up here. Uh, we need straw times four. I thought we had to still hit these ones, but I guess until they get orange, you don't. So we'll get some straw and we'll fix that up. While we're in this area as well, I'll show you guys what I spent uh, a lot of the night doing. And uh, that was making up all this stuff. So you can see here... We got linen thread and linen fabric, so that's going to be very useful, plus a load of spare flax stalk as well. So let me just quickly repair that hut, and then we'll come back and turn that into some cloves. And that should then uh, sell for quite a lot, actually. Well, I'm hoping, anyway. Okay, here we go. So I've got the four straw, and I guess we just make that like we would make any normal thing. I guess it back to normal. Very good. Uh, there might be a tool required in there, too. You can see in the top left, there's uh, issues with tools. That's something I do need to keep on top of a bit more in this game. Uh, but we can do that off camera. Let's do something a bit more fun on camera, and let's have a look at all this linen thread and linen fabric. So what I want to do, if we come over to here, is uh, there's all different things we can buy. So, for example, we can buy the recipe for uh, a simple linen shirt, or we can go up to uh, a linen shirt, which is going to cost more. Now, there's 250 coins as opposed to 200, but as we're just looking to sell this for profit, what I'm going to do is have a look around this wheel and just see what our options are and try and go for the most expensive thing that we can actually make with what we've got because that should make us a lot more money. So I'm going to research that real quick and then we'll come back and make something. So having looked around, I think we're going to keep it pretty simple for now. And if we go for this one right here, the linen shirt, this should be pretty good. So let's buy that for 250 And I'm just going to craft one up for now because I just want to make it and then see what the value of that is and basically what we're going to be able to hopefully sell it for. Okay, so with that made, if we open up our thing here, uh, somewhere there should just say linen shirt. There we go. Very good. Uh, so 190 So we should be able to sell that for just under 100 at the market. And we should be able to make up quite a few of them. And every 10 is like a 1,000 roughly. So that's pretty awesome. Also, right now, I'm wearing this, which is the simple linen shirt. So that gives you plus 2 heat and plus 4 for the cold. Whereas when we make up this here, the actual just linen shirt is plus 3 and plus 6. So we can actually upgrade our own shirt. There we go. That's very nice. And one we made ourselves. So that's awesome. Uh, and we're going to make up a load of that stuff. This will probably be something I do in the nighttime, though. And then we'll go and sell it in the morning. Uh, just because we can do something that's a bit more uh, important during the day. It turns out our sewing hut actually needs repairing too. So we need uh, four straw for that as well. So uh, I think uh, let, let's get that made. I couldn't actually see any tools that were needed by workers. I think they all have the tools that they need. Uh, so I'm not sure if this uh, indication in the top left is just for the repair. Uh, but we'll make, oh, there's more repairs here. So let's make all these repairs and then I'll see if that goes away or not. Yeah, I'm really not really sure why that is still showing up, but we'll just carry on with playing through the game. Um, I've checked all my workers. They've all got the tools that they need to be working. We do have at the moment just our wife who isn't working. I think she's in here just looking after the baby. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's Bogner and Rudolph. And they do that for the first couple of years while the baby is uh, growing up. So yeah, that's that's meant to happen. Uh, other than that, there's the guy working at the pigsty. Doesn't require anything for that. He's just getting on with his business. So yeah, we'll see how we go. Now, actually talking about the guy working at the big star, if we go in here, I want to see if he's added much manure in here since I last checked. Uh, 26. I mean, it's not terrible. It's better than nothing. 
We're going to grab that. We're going to grab all the manure up as well from uh, up here. So the pigs and donkeys and things, if there is anything. I think like the guy does it at the end of each day or something, but we'll just get what we can for now. And the reason for that is because we do want to get the farm ready uh, for spring, which is the next season, of course, after winter. Uh, so even if we're not going to be planting those carrots, which I don't think we'll, we will for this season, that's fine. But uh, I do want to get myself ready with the farm. So I'm basically using this winter as kind of like a preparation season for what's happening in the future, rather than trying to be overly productive at the moment. And I think that's kind of the best way for us to go. On top of that, I did leave some stuff down in here. Is that now rot? Yes, it is. Oh, well, actually, that is a ton of rot, 1,600. Okay, cool. So that's going to be a lot. Yeah, we're going to be uh, overburdened right now. Let's go ahead and make up all this fertilizer, which I'll do off cam and see how much we get out of all of this. So all up there with everything crafted. Let's have a look. If we go down to fertilizer, 191. That is that is a lot. That is awesome. And a new farming level. Not really surprised. I can't quite reach the chest, so we actually have to get to our fertilizer here. Throw it all out on the floor like that. Then come over here, pick it up where we can reach the chest, and then we can put it back in. I've actually got quite a lot of stuff in my inventory right now that I don't need. And the reason for that is we're going to run off into town and sell a load of stuff. Just stuff that's been clogging us up. Like these random five beer bottles, the boots I don't need, uh, chicory and daisies and stuff. There's a lot of stuff here. So let's go and sell all of that. And basically, we're just going to have a lot of stuff then to do uh, you know, in the uh, nighttime with all the farming and stuff like that. But I'll try and find some things to do on camera too. I nearly forgot, but the other thing I also want to check is my compost bin right here. There we go. We've got 582 rot out of that. So yeah, I mean, not something we need to process right now because we have a load of this stuff. But it is good to have so much of this stuff because basically it's going to mean that we just have a load of resources now where we're not going to need to buy stuff like, for example, the uh, fertilizer. Uh, we've got a ton of flour here as well. I mean, you can see uh, like almost 1,700 flour sells for four at a time. So that was from processing all the wheat, which I've done. And yeah, basically, we're going to be fine for money for quite some time, which is really reassuring and good to know. And it gives us a bit more flexibility as well now as to in terms of like things that we can do in, with our new town. So obviously, in the last episode, we got a little spot for that and found out. And uh, most of you seem to like that, which is great. In fact, a few of you did mention that uh, you chose the same spot. So uh, that's awesome. I guess great minds think alike with that one. And I'm pretty, pretty happy with that spot. And it's something I do want to work on and develop. And having all this money is going to give us a lot of freedom to do so. So that'll probably be something we do like a little bit of in each episode, which is a nice way to develop through the series. I've been pretty busy off camera, uh, partly because I was playing this over the Christmas period, but not recording. So I thought I'd take some time off from work. And uh, partly because we had some nighttime and stuff like that. But you can see here right now, we've got 38 linen shirts. We're going to grab all of those right now and go in and sell them. Uh, and that's uh, minus the one that we're wearing. Obviously, we upgraded our shirt. But these are valued at 190 each. So that's going to be a fair bit of money. And we do have here some leftover materials. But unfortunately, I don't have enough of the linen thread for the next thing that I want to do. And that is, if we go over to the trap section right here, to make up this. This is the uh, fishing net right there. We need to buy that scheme for 250 Let's just do that now because I know I'm going to buy it. And we need six linen thread for that. We currently in here have just the three. So what I'm going to do is sell all those linen shirts and then buy myself three linen thread over at the market. Now, I've got a whole lot of stuff. We saw earlier I had, uh, you know, 1,500 odd uh, flour as well. So there's so much that we can sell and we're going to have just a ton of money. And uh, our taxes, incidentally, at the moment, we go to management right here. The taxes are currently set at about 1,500, right? Just under. Uh, of course, that could go up, I think, before spring because we're still in winter. But that's roughly what we're looking at. However, even with that paid, because our current coins pay for the taxes just about, we're going to have a ton of money. So I think what I'll do this uh, sort of episode is get a lot of things sold so we can see how much money we've got to work with. And if you guys have any suggestions down in the comments as to things you might like to see in an upcoming episode that I can spend my money on, then let me know. One thing I am thinking is get myself some sort of weapons and stuff and maybe trying to fight some bandits or do stuff like that. But we'll see how we go. Uh, now, everyone's running away, so we need to be kind of quick about this. So I want to sell all of these to... Oh, I can only sell seven to you. Okay, let's... Uh, I'm going to run around try and find all the other traders and sell to them. Uh, I just want to talk to you right now. Okay, we'll have to come back and do this in the morning. I, I thought it was morning on my game. It's kind of hard to sell sometimes in winter uh, when it's day and night. When I'm able to do this again, that's when I'll bring you guys back in. And in the meantime, I guess I'll find some more work to be getting on with on my own. So I just quickly set the time after that clip. And you can see here, it's, it's not quite yet 8 a.m. in the morning. So I think what happened is I was crafting through the night, making up a load of stuff. And what's happened is because I was crafting, they didn't go to bed yet, all these villagers. So I think what they do, they've gone off to bed and now they're going to be coming back to the market. Like if I speak to you right now, uh, you know, she, she is interested in speaking to us. She doesn't have any money because we took all the money off of her. So they are coming back to the market. So we should be able to get these trades done uh, in just like a couple of minutes. 
but I think that's what happened there. Okay, so another person we can talk to here, sell you another eight shirts. So we're actually kind of bankrupting these guys. And, uh, oh, what does this guy sell as well? I wasn't actually checking that. Yeah, we need to keep an eye out for the guy that uh, we can buy the three linen thread from. So once again, we're going to sell a load of shirts here, nine, and we got only four left to sell, which is great. We're kind of bankrupting everyone at the moment. Uh, not that I mind that as such. Uh, loads of food we can buy from this guy, but I'm looking for the other guy for the linen thread, which I think is you. So let's sell the last four of these shirts over to him. And then down here, I think there is going to be linen thread, which is just, uh, let's see, just there. So let's buy one, two, three of you. So once that's been done, our current coins, as you can see here, six and a half thousand coins almost, which is amazing. But that doesn't take into account the 1500 flour we can still sell, which I'll probably come back and do tomorrow because everybody's broke because <laughs> we just basically bankrupted the town. Um, so yeah, it's going to be quite a lot of money to spend and we'll definitely look at that. But what I want to do now for the rest of this episode, I think, is look to get into fishing. So as I said, we've got the fishing net, which we're going to make uh, once we get back to the town right here and place that down. I also am going to get a new town member in, so we might need to build a house for them. But those, uh, that new town member, they can be the new fisher hut person. We'll build the fishing hut as well. And let's make some fishing spears up and try and get into a bit of fishing ourselves. Uh, it's something I've never done on this game, so I'm looking forward to trying that out and showing you guys what that's all about. So we do now have the materials to place the fishing net. Of course, it does have to be placed in the water, so uh, I don't think it matters the orientation or anything like that too much. Um, so let's just place it like there. Boom. <laughs> there we go. So I think this works the same way that a trap works, where it will trap some fish each day, just like how a rabbit trap will trap like a rabbit each day. We're going to test that out and see how that goes. So there might be a duck coming over to investigate this whole thing. And it'll be interesting to see the fish because I think it'll, they'll, you know, they'll be worth a little bit of money. And obviously they'll feed our town too. So it's going to be good for the expansion. Uh, so next up, what I want to do, if we go to buildings right here. Then I think it's under hunting. Yeah, there we go. Fishing hut number one. We want to place this down somewhere. I reckon somewhere nearby to the, uh, the fishing uh, net that we placed would be good. And you can kind of get it like you see here, you've got these little stairs and we can kind of get that. So you only have to wade out into the water a little bit to get up into the hut. So I think maybe near the bridge might be like a bit of a nice setting for it. Just about there. I think that's perfect. There we go. Uh, so we'll do a time lapse of this build. We've, of course, not done this build before. And uh, let's see. So we're going to need logs and planks to build this thing. Let's go grab a load of those and do a little time lapse. We've almost finished our fishing hut, but I'm a little bit worried about this guy right here. Who's this <laughs> bond support? I've not seen him do this before. He's just wandering off into the water here. And um, are you okay there, dude? Do you need a little bit of alone time? Are you are you foraging? Are you wishing that you had an outhouse right now? I, I don't know what he's doing. I guess he's just foraging, but for a second, it looked like he was walking out into the water like he'd had enough time uh, at our village. And uh, but no, he seems he seems okay now. I guess this is his little island. He's just enjoying himself. <laughs> the fishing hut is now built, guys, and of course we're going to go and take a look at that. But first, I just want to see this right here. We got this fishing net right here. Would you look at this? We've got sixty three percent full in the time that I was building this very small building. Which, yeah, not much at all. And we got three roach from that. So let's have a look in our inventory. There they are. Uh, not worth much right now. When we cook them, they might be worth a little bit more. Uh, interestingly, you get fifteen food from the roasted meat. With the roach, so you can eat them right now and get seven food plus five water, but you can get some poisoning from that. We'll give them a little cook up and see what we actually can uh, get once they're cooked. Okay, so here at the kitchen, I guess we can just cook them on the stone grate, can we? Uh, let's have a look. Oh yeah, here they are. They're just down here, the roasted uh, fish meat that we get from the roach. Let's cook these up and see uh, what their stats look like once they're grilled. The roasted fish meat there, plus 17 food, uh, 600 seconds of the effect duration as well, of 40% less food consumption. So a lot better than the roasted meat that we get. Although, I mean, I'm guessing overall probably more difficult to get. I haven't done any fishing yet. The fishing net, as I say, I was very happy with how quickly we started to get stuff from that. We must now just remember to check it regularly. Uh, but that was very good. Now, the fishing hut itself, you can see it here. It's a beautiful looking building because it's on the water. It's got the nice little Dockland sort of feel to it right there. But obviously a very small building, just the fishing hut level one. And actually, just have a quick look here. If we go to the hunting section... Uh, so fishing only goes up to level two. We're a little way off being able to build that, but that's where we'll be eventually. That's that's kind of cool. Uh, nice here, a little workbench with all the uh, fish guts on it. Let's see, what can we make up here? So we can make fish meat right here. Uh, and you see, so you can get four fish meat from one perch, seven fish meat from one pike. And it looks like roach is a one for one deal. So you want to be getting, I guess, the perch and the pike to get the extra uh, output from that. Uh, and then, yeah, we've got some decorational stuff. Obviously, you've got the chest again, 100 kilos in that chest. Looks like that's it, though, for the fishing cart. I tell a lie, there's a drying rack right here, so we can craft stuff on the drying rack. So we can actually dry meat in here as well if we want to. 
and dried fish as well. So you just add the fish meat up on there. We dry that out and get dried fish meat in the same way that we get the uh, dried uh, meat as well, normal meat. So yeah, pretty cool. Now, before we go and find ourselves a fisherman, we're going to want to build a house for that fisherman. Uh, so let's go ahead and have a look here. I think I'm just going to keep it simple. Uh, if we go to the houses, I'm literally just going to build a simple small house and probably put it somewhere down here. If I go into the management screen, we can have a look at what we've got going on here. Um, in terms of the houses, we've got four houses and let's see. So at the moment, there's someone living in all of them. Uh, I guess then we either make a family by hiring like a woman for Bogdala to be with, for example, um, or the same for Domicile. So we could look to do that. I wasn't really wanting to have families at the moment. It would save me building the house though. Uh, let's do it. Let's let's just go for that. So we're going to hire a woman. Uh, hire a woman? Yeah, I guess so. Get a woman into the town, however you want to think about that. And she will be hired. She'll be hired as a fisherman. Now, before I run back into town... No, it's not been a day yet. I was going to sell my flower, realise it's not been a day. Uh, so all good. We'll run over to the campfire and see what our options are to find a fisherwoman. It's like a school disco in here. We've got all the guys on one side and all the girls on the other with no interaction going on. But it does make things a little easier for us because this is the pickings of ladies that we have uh, that might join our town. So let's press two wrong buttons and then the right button. Here we go. <laughs> and uh, I guess hunting is going to be the one, right? So hunting there of two, hunting of one. And you've also got a hunting of one. We'll speak to you first then. Uh, there we go, Lamberta. Uh, small talk, and let's see. Could you tell me about your skills? So all Lamberta says is uh, they know I'm hardworking, a very reliable companion, which, uh, okay, that's that's cool. Uh, doesn't really tell me what you like to do in terms of work. What about you? What are your skills? It just occurred to me, though, like if I speak to her and say, you know, I'm creating a small town, yeah, we need to have a better reputation of 600, and we're just a little shy of that. So maybe that's why we're not getting information about the skills. We're at 580 right now. Now, we've been getting very lucky with quests on the town notice board, so that's my first port of call to head in there and see if there's something simple we can do just to boost that up and get ourselves a new person. Um, and uh, I'll then have a look if the small talk changes. I feel like the, the small talk when we did that in the past was a lot different and gave a lot more specifics. Um, oh, that's, uh, yep. <laughs> the medieval parkour king right here, guys. Yeah, I think in the, in the past when we've asked them about their skills, they've given them a, a lot more specifics into what jobs they enjoy doing. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to check out this notice board, see if we can get ready to uh, get them, see if that changes things. Okay, 12 wooden hose for 50 dynasty reputation. That's the first one I clicked on. I mean, we can definitely do that. Three linen fabric. I think I already have that. So we're going to do that one. Uh, let's see, 30 salt. I don't think I have. So, okay. So we're going to do this linen fabric one. Um, I'm pretty sure I already have it. If I don't, uh, then it's simply a case of needing to buy three fabric, and we'll do that. We get 66 coins back anyway. Um, so yeah, it's probably uh, not the biggest deal if you have to do that. But let's run home, see if I was right. I was correct. We got 17 of the linen fabric. We only need three to complete this quest. So super, super easy. I did comment before. I said, you know, I think we might be getting really lucky with the quests that are available on the notice board. But a few people commented back and said they've had quests that have been similar levels of difficulty. So I guess early on in the game, they do make it easy for you to level up your reputation, which I think is nice because obviously it's like any game. If, you, if you're getting into it, you want to get into the meat of the game. And this game is all about hiring people and, and building your town. So it's nice that we can do that. I mean, we're about to have like, what, seven of us in the town right now? That's pretty cool. Just had a look here. There are one, two, three, four, five, six plus me is seven. So there's going to be eight of us. But we do, of course, have the little baby as well, our heir that was born in the uh, previous episode there. So, uh, yeah, nine of us. We're doing pretty good here, guys. Now, on the journal, if we go to our side quest, there we go. And uh, we want to track that quest. Let's see. Uh, oh, he's nine meters from us. <laughs> we probably could have just looked around. Uh, hi, Derwan. Uh, yeah, this this right here. So, thank you. We've got Dynasty Reputation. We can now hire people. So, let's go back to that same campfire, speak to those same ladies. And uh, this time, see if they give us any more specifics. I don't know if that's a thing or not, but I'm going to let you guys know. Here we are. The school disco is raging on. And let's uh, say small talk and tell me about your skills. And I was right, actually, guys. So she said there about, let's get hands dirty. Farming is complex and challenging, but finds it rewarding. So uh, we are getting more information now, which is cool that they do it like that. It's kind of nice that that's the way that is set up. Although this person's saying the exact same thing. Just I can convince people of my cause, yada, yada. Yeah, so that's interesting. Do you say anything different this time? Let's find out. Okay, no, she hasn't said anything different either. So we've got you at 29, you're 27, you are 21, and actually gave us a bit of a chat. So I'm just going to say, yep, I'm creating a new town. Uh, great, see you there. And by the way, I'm about to marry you off instantly <laughs> to one of the people. So, uh, yep, there we go. Uh, now, talking to which, let's actually do that. So we need to give her a house. Uh, let's see, who lives in this house right here? Bogdala. So, oh wait, hold on. Is Bogdala a woman? I think that's a woman, right? So, actually, we're not going to be able to do that. All right, let's check the name of our new lady. This is uh, Lamberta. Okay, sorry, Lamberta. Yes, please go off to the town. 
Uh, I just need to find you a better house to live in because I was wrong about the first one. So this one right here, we're going to put you in uh, Lamberta. There we go. So we're going to double click you and accept you're in there. You are now living with, who was it? Uh, Domicile. So yep, you two are going to be very happy together. Now, hopefully most of those things go away. Yep, we still got a couple of things that are going wrong here. We need to get some tools to workers or something like that. So we'll check that out in a second. Uh, but first, what we want to do is assign her to be the uh, the fisher person. So let's go down to, I guess, hunting, fishing hut one. Uh, so we're going to need to make up a fishing spear and a knife for uh, Lamberta as well. But that's all good. She's in there as the fisher. Let's go make those things up for her. And uh, while we're heading back this way, let's check on that fishing net and see if there's any new stuff in there. I feel like there could well be because it was working very quickly before. Yeah, okay, let's say they all came at once. All good. Let's see about making up a fishing spear. Now, I'm guessing for the fishing spear, we just make it up in the workshop right here, or the smithy, I should say. So is it a stone tool? Uh, oh, I'm right on it straight away. Okay, great. We do need one linen thread. Oh, my goodness. I think I have to run back to the town just to buy that one linen thread because we don't have any. Okay, let me go do that. Then we'll make up some fishing spears. In fact, I'll buy, like, I don't know, maybe five linen thread, and then we'll make up a few. Okay, now we have all the materials. What we're going to do is stone tools, craft up five uh, fishing spears. And let's see, they take five seconds each to do that, okay? Uh, and what I'll do is I'll put four of them over in the fishing hut, and then we'll keep one ourselves and see if we can do a bit of fishing ourselves. Well, I have had people comment before and say that in terms of the tools that the workers need for their jobs, you don't have to go down to the actual huts and put them in, because I like to come down here like this. Put them into the hut so let's see fishing spear uh we'll put four of them in there keep one ourselves as i say uh but the reason i like to do this is because then if i ever need fishing equipment for myself i know where it'll be it'll be here i keep all my hunting things up in the hunting hut and so on so i always know where stuff is now let's have a look at the fishing spear ourselves and go ahead and just equip that so here it is now how do we use this thing it looks pretty cool <laughs> there we go very medieval looking fishing spear but i'm not sure how we use this so i mean let's just run up and see oh actually just before we do we have a load more fish in here. 27% uh, full once again. Let's collect from there. And we got four roach this time. I mean, that's that's pretty good. So right-clicking it, it looks like it does work like a normal spear would work. So I guess we have to go out and actually, like, see fish, maybe, uh, in the same way that you hunt, you know, a rabbit or a deer or something like that. This is my assumption. I'm going to go looking for fish right now. If that's not what we do, then I guess uh, everybody uh, who knows that and is watching this is going to be laughing at me. Right now, I'm about to waste my time, but let's see. Just occurred to me, actually, on the map, there might be a fishing spot that we've already found. If we go to wild animals, yeah, okay, here we go. So let's go to a fishing spot. Let's see, we're there. Looks like this is the nearest fishing spot. So where is that? That's just down this way. Let's head over there. We might get a bit more luck in an actual fishing spot where we know fish are spotted. Uh, there is a duck there, but he's uh, might just be scaring off all the fish. It's literally like, should be here somewhere. Okay, I can actually see under the water if I look down. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Might be able to help us though if we just keep looking and seeing if we can find any fish. It'd be really nice if there was just a fishing line in this game. Fishing can be kind of relaxing sometimes in games. You just throw your net out or, uh, or cast your line out, I should say, and just, you know, wait for a bite and stuff like that. Try and hook the fish. It looks like we have to use spears though. And I'm not really sure what I'm doing. So I'm just going to have a quick Google and see if I can figure this out. Now, it looks like there's a way to get fish to show up in inspector mode. And I'm not sure exactly what that is. But I was just looking here. If we go to uh, my skills right here, you see that under the hunting section, we do have a couple of things here, uh, a couple of points to spend. We've got this survival sense. We can see like stick stones, mushrooms, feathers in inspector mode. Let's activate uh, that one for now and see if this unlocks anything further down here. No, unfortunately not. Hmm, okay. So more stuff is showing up now when I'm in this inspector mode, that's for sure. But I still don't think the fish are showing up as such. So yeah, a bit unfortunate that. I realized that was the, actually the uh, survival skill I was looking at. It's just because uh, I saw that thing. But actually, uh, the hunting one is obviously where we need to be. So this one here, tracker, tracks animals in inspector mode. That's obviously what we're going to need. But at the moment, we don't have it. So I don't think we're going to just be able to see fish. I think it's going to be too difficult. I think we're going to need to be able to use our, our tracking mode in order to see them. So what I might do while it's still a little bit of light left is go to a bit of hunting, see if we can't get our hunting skills up to the point where we have an extra skill to spend and spend it on that and see how that goes. I did quite a lot of hunting through the night, but unfortunately we still haven't quite been able to level up our hunting skill point yet, so we're going to have to get back to doing that. At the moment though, I've got my flower on me, so we go see here almost 1,700 flower that we're going to go and sell. Uh, that was always the plan once we got to the morning, and I think we're uh, ready to do that. So let's see how much money we end up with once we've sold all this. Now, it might be the case of having to go to multiple vendors again, but let's just try this out and see what we can do. So we can sell 290 to her, which is not a lot of our total right there, but that gave us, uh, was it 800 coins or something like that? That was pretty good. Let's go speak to the next guy and do the same thing, see how much we can sell to him. Uh, only 26. Okay, I guess he's still broke from yesterday or something. Uh, who else do we have here? Let's see. Okay, I don't think I spoke to her just yet. Let's try and sell to her. I should have got 29 coins. 
And everyone's still broke. Uh, is it per season? I thought they would reset their money each day. Maybe it's each season. Uh, that's good. To, oh, hello. We've got Michael Jackson here. <laughs> he should moonwalk in his way into work. That is uh, that's a stylish entrance. Do you have any money for me whilst we're here? Yes, you do. Okay, good. Let's bankrupt you. Sold another 320. There we go. Uh, is that everybody or not? Able to sell another 47 to her as well. Not loads, but uh, we're getting through a little uh, bit of this. But I think now that's everyone. Okay, one person we didn't speak to yet is this guy right here. And he's got 2,000 on him. So we can take uh, most of that off of him. Uh, well, all of that off of him, I should say. Sell most of our flour. Uh, guys, we are on, let's see, 270 there. We've got over 10,000 coins right now. That is awesome. We still have 270 flour left to sell as well if we want to, which I'll probably just wait until a new season. Over 10 grand. So that's by far the richest we've been yet in this series. Even when we sell, uh, oh, sorry, even when we pay our taxes in the next season, uh, it's not going to be that big of a hit. So yeah, as I said before, let me know, what should I spend this money on, guys? Just out doing a bit more hunting and heading on to a new hunt spot, and I came across this abandoned structure. So... Not sure what we're going to find in here, but I thought we'd do this together. Start off with a sack. And we've got three animal feed. I mean, it's three more than we had a moment ago. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, in this barrel right here, 35 coins, a couple of straw. So we're at the stage of the game now where the loot is it's still helpful, but it's not, you know, anything overly significant. Uh, now, what is going on here? This is all barricaded, but there is a chest in there. So I'll see if there's another way in. Oh, and there's all the things I'm trying to hunt just behind this building. So that's kind of handy. Uh, so we have a, a barrel here. We have some more flour, which is cool. It can go with uh, our existing flour. And uh, oh, there's a little bundled here, a uh, bundle, I should say, with some rye grain. Okay, very good. But still haven't found a way into this house. Okay, so it turns out what we had to do was go up on this bit of roof right here and we can get down into the house this way. So uh, yeah, kind of cool that. But now that we're here, let's have a look what's in the chest. So a couple of potions of strength, that's cool. Now some wool thread, we don't have that yet. Uh, we never had that before. So we might be able to do something with that. Actually, we'll check that out. There's a beer bottle right there. Uh, there's a bundle here, which has a bronze sickle. That'll definitely come in handy. Bit more flax, all kinds of random bits and bobs in here, that's for sure. Uh, oh, what is this done here? 150 coins. Wow, okay, that's cool. Uh, we did very well on the coins now, over 10,000 there. I believe that might be everything. Oh, no, no, there is this one here, another 50 coins. You really have to be careful with these places. There's a beer bottle there. Yeah, it's so easy to miss loot. Uh, is that lootable, even? Um, I guess not. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, so it's, uh, it's one of those things. I never look around quite enough when I'm doing this, so I'm just going to finish up here. Make sure there's nothing else. Okay, I really do think that's it now. Uh, not a bad loot that we got from that. Oh, if I can get out, there we go. Uh, so what we're trying to do, of course, is get our hunting skill up. We go on to that right there. Right now, 253.3. We need to get to 500 for our next skill point. So we're a little way off that. But I want to spend the time doing it in today's episode because I feel like that'll finish off the fishing quite nicely. So we've got a few animals here to hunt. Let's uh, go ahead and hunt one of these. And I'll, I'll hunt one, and then we'll see how much uh, money we get just for hunting one of them. Like, uh, not money, sorry, how many skill points we get for hunting one of Oh, he was totally running that way. Uh, and just see, you know, how much it actually works out to be and how many of these we have to kill in order to get up to the level we want to get to. Okay, we sit down our first deer here, or a stag, I should probably say. Uh, and uh, let's see what that goes up to. So we were like 253.5 or something like that, weren't we? I think uh, you can check in the video if you want to be 100% certain, but it was around that. So if I go to skills right now... Uh, it goes up to 260, so about seven a time. Wow, we're really going to be here a while. <laughs> well, I guess we'll have a lot of meat and stuff that we can sell after all this, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit slow. Well, we made it through another winter, guys, and we've slept through here into the spring, and at the start of every new season, there's a couple things I like to do. One is always to check on the farm, and this is now ready to harvest, so that's awesome. But the other thing is to see if any pigs have been born so far. It's always been a no, and that continues, so... Yeah, <laughs> kind of sad. Doesn't look like we're getting any baby pigs anytime soon. Uh, maybe it just takes a long time. As for the geese, oh, hey, look at that. We got a Ryan. <laughs> we got the a gosling. That's cool. So the, everything is breeding so far, which is the chickens. Uh, now the geese is our latest one. The donkeys, they were breeding before. So all this stuff is breeding. All these animals, I should say. But unfortunately, not the pigs. They, they don't seem to be breeding just yet. I guess they're the hardest ones. Now, in terms of the skills of hunting, that's what we were trying to get up. Uh, you can see that we hit 312 out of 500, so we're doing okay. Uh, I realize, though, I'm still hunting with wooden spears, and I think it's definitely at the stage of the game now where we want to upgrade our tools, our weapons, so let's look to do that. Now, I actually have this bow on me right here. This bow, I've had it for a while, and uh, I found that one when I was out looting. So the only question now is what arrows do we have? I've got these three iron arrows, but I was probably just going to sell those. Let's see if we can make up some other arrows and use that for our bow. So in the smithy right here, I'm going to see what my options are. Like, for example, copper weapons right here. Uh, we can make up copper arrows. We've got a load of feathers to use up. We can buy this for just 100, and then the other stuff is pretty simple. 
So that's what I'm going to do. So let's grab some feathers and some sticks. And we'll start off with that, the bow and the copper arrows. So I grabbed a few different resources here. Uh, if we go here, we can make up uh, two of those, which will be 20. Uh, I think I'll actually make up a few more of that. Let's maybe have like 50 arrows or something like that. Then that will last us a lot longer. Now in the smithy, another thing we can make up under wooden weapons is a bow. So you see here, we just need uh, two linen thread for that. Let's go ahead and unlock that right there. Two linen thread, one log in order to do that. So we're going to go into town now. We're going to buy the two linen thread that we need. Also, I've got a lot of random stuff in my inventory that I want to sell, just like these beer bottles right here, this cherry wine, some other stuff. So we're going to go and sort all that out, and then we'll have the bow that we've got that we found before, and that's obviously got some durability left on it. Uh, we've got 50 copper arrows, as you can see there, and then uh, the other stuff will just be uh, you know, just extra stuff then that we can use. Realize what I just said made absolutely no sense. <laughs> what I was trying to say is if we make up the second bow, then between those two bows, that should keep us going for quite a while. As you can see, we're in the town and managed to sell all of the uh, little items that we had on us that we wanted to sell. And on top of that, we bought the linen thread. Whilst I'm here as well, I'm just thinking, oh, there he is up there. I just caught a glimpse of him. Yep, we can go and pay our taxes to the guy who runs this town, whose name uh, escapes me for a second. We just well do that while we're here, so let's go and uh, have a chat with him. Okay, hey dude, uh, how you going? Mirror God, that's his name. Um, there we go. And yeah, so we paid our taxes. Uh, how much was it? Does it tell us right there? Doesn't it come up? I, I should have checked before. I go into management. Let's see, taxes due is now zero. Uh, in our inventory, our coin's now 8670. So yeah, it would have been around the 1500 mark. I think the last time I checked it, that's what it was on. Um, but I forgot to check just before I paid there, but I knew I had enough. As you, you know, can see though, Doing very well for money, which we already knew, so that's good. I realized that I never actually gave the fishing spears to our fisher lady right here. Uh, oh, I did. Well, how do I have all these? I think I must have found these then. Well, there you go. Now you've got eight of them, so hopefully you can do a good bit of fishing. Oh, wow. Wait, hold on. There's fish there. So if we... Are we able to fish these ourselves? Did that work? Yeah, that's a dead fish. Uh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I was not expecting this because I thought we had to get to the point where... Wait, there, is, there he is right there. Yeah, where we could use the inspector mode. Hey, so we got a perch. We take that, we got a perch, we got our fishing spear back. All right, that's really cool. So maybe the reason we couldn't see any fish before was because it was winter and they go to like deeper water or something like that. I mean, that could be it. Well, that's quite interesting. Hmm. Well, in that case, uh, I might get on with a few other things now that we know how to do that. That's basically how we fish in this game, which is what this episode was going to be all about. And, and we've seen that. Um, I think what we'll do is I, I will do a lot more hunting, but I was already kind of worried about this because I actually run up to the kitchen right now but we basically have so much of the, the meat and stuff from hunting. A lot of it's going to go to waste, which I really don't want. It just seems uh, a bit pointless. So let's see, this is the kitchen. You can see right here, look at all this. We've got 259 meat, and it's going down to 75%. We've got some other meat stuff here too. Uh, so yeah, that wasn't great. What I think I'll do, let's grab these roach out of here, because uh, those roach, I believe, were caught by the fisher lady uh, that's working in our town. Let's just have a quick look through here and see if there's any others. Okay, I think there's not been enough time in the day yet for any to have shown up here. That's all good. But I think we should do something with these fish down at the fishing hut. So let's run down there a second. Inside this fishing hut, we do have a few different options. So if we go in here, we can use the workbench, for example, and we can make fish meat right there. So we get four fish meat from the one perch, which is pretty good. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That's pretty good, right? To get the four fish meat from that. And it's uh, pretty quick to craft up there, as you can see. And now what I think we can do as well is we can craft on here, uh, we can turn that dried fish meat, uh, or turn the fish meat into dried fish meat, I should say. Now this is interesting because it looks like, so yeah, okay, so I've actually just got the dried fish meat from this. I thought, I was just assuming what I'd have to do is hang the dried, uh, sorry, hang the fish up on here and wait for it to dry. And I actually think that'd be a really nice touch if you just hung the fish up on here and then it took a day or maybe a season, something like that to dry out and then you came and collected, that would be kind of cool. Um, but that's okay, that's how it works, that's what we've got. Uh, oh, cherry wine, I meant to sell that, never mind. So the dried fish meat right here, plus nine food, and 55% less food uh, consumption, which is very good. Uh, so it's not as good as the cooked fish meat, I, I don't think, not quite as good, but I believe it will last for longer, um, so before it spoils, which is pretty good. So let's go and put that into our food storage, and yeah, things are looking pretty good. So by not having to level up the hunting skill today, it's something we can work on in the future and we'll revisit the fishing at that point once we're able to trap the animals. But I feel like I've covered enough about the basics of fishing in this video. And at the end of the day, this isn't meant to be a tutorial, it's just a playthrough where today was kind of focused on fishing. Um, again, I want to thank everybody for the support throughout the season. Uh, it's really, really appreciated. If you're new here and uh, you'd like to support the channel, please do consider subscribing. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers, which is very, very cool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.